Uh, your buffering isn't too bad. We'll be coming to you live, and we have something like 2,150 schools watching us now. Half a million kids or more, probably 600,000 students right around the country who are about to sing the same song at the same time in about half an hour from now, which is very exciting. So we hope that you're set, ready to go. We have half an hour of fantastic entertainment to lead up to the big event, which gives you time to tune in your computers and make sure everything's working properly, get your speakers working, and, uh, you know, uh, get everything happening. So um, that's not too far away. But first and foremost, I'd like to welcome Mr. Ron Jones, who's standing beside me to perform the Welcome to Country. Let's give him a round of applause. Ron Jones. Thank you very much uh, for that uh, introduction, um, John. My name is Ron Jones, and I'm an elder of the Wawundry Council. The Wawundry people are traditional owners of a very large area that circle from the mouth of the Wawuribi River. We go right up to the Great Divide. From the Great Divide, we go right back up to the Yarra Ranges. From the Yarra Ranges, we go right up to Mount Borbore. From Mount Borbore, we come right back around to the Mordiella Creek. And my ancestors have looked after this country for the last 30,000 years plus, and we within the Wawundry Council, we care about country and we work with a lot of stakeholders. Uh, developers and that about uh, putting wetlands in and, and if you give to the country, the country gives back to everyone. So that's why we get involved in a lot of um, stakeholder things with uh, Parks Victoria, Melbourne Water and all that. And when I'm just looking around here and uh, I see you young children here, dance has been a part of Aboriginal culture for over 30,000 years, dance and music. But our music was a little bit different. They played with gum leaves, clipsticks, and that was their form of music. And then they'd sing in Aboriginal tongue and language. And then when I look at the back of me, um, I look at this band here. Um, actually, that band coming from Ballarat. So that is a different part of country to us. That is what we call Wadarong country. So that's a different tribal part that comes from over the uh, Werribee River. So what we do, I'd say, woman Jerrica Bick, welcome to our country, and it's great having used people from Wadarong country coming onto our land and visiting our land. And when I look at all the children here, I'd say most of the schools that I see here are Wawundry people, Wawundry land people. So it's great pleasure to say woman Jerrica Bick to you children here, welcome to our country. And um, it gives me great pleasure to be here. And I was just looking at um, my mother's uh, wedding uh, newspaper. When she got married in 1936, it went around every newspaper in the whole of Australia. Last princess of Yarra Yarra tribe, descendant of William Barrick. Does anyone know William Barrick? Well, that was my, or that was my mother's great granduncle, and that's my great great granduncle. What a tremendous man he was. He was a fantastic person to Wawundry people. And then if people can't see this logo properly here, but the logo represents Bunjil. Bunjil is a creator of all times for Wawundry people. And then we have this little bit of blue water. So this little bit of blue water represents the Yarra River because that went part through Corrandirk where my mother was born and my grandmother and my grandmother's brothers and sisters were born all on Corrandirk. That was an Aboriginal mission station up at Hearsville. So the Yarra used to flow along there and a lot of people don't realise that was our major freeways going back probably a couple of hundred years ago. They'd all canoe from Hearsville, coming down and everything. And then another thing, when I read through my mother's um, that newspaper clipping, where they sung traditional Aboriginal songs and they played gum leaf. That was a part of our instrument. And a lot of people think when they come to Victoria and they see a didgeridoo being played here in Victoria, that's not a part of our culture. That comes from the Northern Territory. The only things we played here was clapstick and they sung and everything like uh, they had a great time. So when you're out here now, just imagine for the last 30,000 years, this is what Aboriginal people done with their music and their dance and everything. They celebrated outside in the open. And it's a great pleasure to be here and see what's going on today. And um, it's, it's a great thing. Always remember that uh, music and dance is something near to the heart. And when I see, and this is going all around Australia, so everybody's all participating in something beautiful. And music is a great part of our life. And um, when you hear some of the words and songs and especially in Aboriginal language to us, a lot of people can't understand it. And I can't understand it because we lost our language over 300 years ago. So I'd love to all be understand some of our songs and the language. And then a lot of people, uh, part of my job is I work out on a lot of sites with archaeologists looking for old Aboriginal sites and everything along waterways. And about 18 months ago, a chap from uh, one of these sites came up and he was looking at me. He took his sunglasses off and I thought, what is this bloke looking at? And he said, Ron, you don't look Aboriginal. I said, I don't, do I? And he said, no, you don't. 
I said, you know why? I said, because I was born in the daytime and all my cousins are born <laughs> in the night time. So people don't uh, realise here in Victoria we don't have no full-blooded Aboriginals no more. Our last full-blooded Aboriginal was a lady born on Corrandirk, Angelina McRae, and she died back in 1986 down at um, Lake Tyres. So that was the last of our full-blooded Aboriginal people in Victoria. So a lot of people today, they don't realise that there's a lot of people with Aboriginal descendancy and bloodlines that look like me the same. So, um, you know, a lot of uh, is like that. So, look, Woman Jerrica Bick, I'd love to keep talking about everything today, about our tribe, our uh, history and everything, especially with the Wurundjeri, because Wurundjeri people are very proud Aboriginal people that care about their country and looking after the country. So thank you very much again, John, for having me here to do the welcome to the country and hope you have a very good day. Thank you very much. Woman Jerry Gabik, welcome to our country. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you very much for that. All right. Well, uh, we have a few very important guests or, you know, some fantastic guests. I'm about to introduce the band here behind me, but I'd also like you to put your hand. Did anybody watch a show called The Voice on Channel 9? Yes, okay, everybody's putting their hand up here. I don't know if you can see that. And I guess around the country, everybody's screaming and yelling with excitement, as I mentioned the name of that show, because Harrison Craig is going to be performing live here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a round of applause. Very good. So we'll be calling upon Harrison in just a few minutes. In fact, Harrison and I are in the middle of our uh, regional tour now. We've played all the capital cities and we're heading to, I think, regional Victoria this afternoon. Uh, and then we're heading up to New South Wales and all that sort of thing. So if you're in a regional part of Australia, check your, I guess you'd Google it, wouldn't you? Check your local newspapers or Google, not to have a local Google, whatever you have, and you'll see all the information about Harrison's tour. But in the meantime, I want to talk to you about the fantastic Ballarat High School Band, which is standing behind me right here. Now, this is a fantastic example of a, of a school that has a really wonderful music department. I've just got some statistics for you here. Uh, they deliver classroom music to 800 students, 300 engage in the instrumental music program, which is fantastic. There are 12 teacher-led ensembles, but what I think is even more fantastic is that there's a whole lot of student-led ensembles as well. There's a 50-piece show band, there's three 25-piece year seven groups, so there's really a lot happening at the school. So I'm going to step off the stage now and let the guys show you how fantastic they are. Uh, they give 30 performances per week, that can't be right, learning by doing more than 30 performances each term, not each week, <laughs> giving students the chance to perform on a weekly basis. So why don't we put our hands together as we welcome, well they're already here so we're not going to welcome them, but we're going to make them feel very welcome, the Ballarat High School Band, take it away. band, our stage band, so we write our, all, all our own things and this song's called Party Every Night. Have a dance if you want. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's hear it again for the Ballarat High School band. That was fantastic. Sorry, what is your name, our lead vocalist? Aaron. Let's hear it for Aaron, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Josh. Correct. Josh on the saxophone. Let's give him a round of applause as well. It was a great solo. Excellent work there. All right. So now, um, we, you know, we're all about to sing. Oh, that's unfortunate. We're all about to sing the song in, you know, 20 minutes or so. Uh, but what I thought would be interesting for you guys to find out a little bit about is the songwriting process. This song has been written by students for students to sing. And we had Rachel Lim, Aidan Rolfe, Holly Winter and a uh, Abby Slattery who uh, got together and wrote this uh, song that everybody's been learning, which is fantastic. Uh, it was a terrific workshop. We had Katie Noonan there as well. I'm sure a lot of you know Katie Noonan, a fantastic singer-songwriter in her own right. Um, and I'm very happy to be able to say that Abby is actually with us now. She's going to sing in a moment. But first, we'll have a little chat. Let's come on up, Abby, and give her a round of applause as she wakes her way to the stage. This is Abby, everybody. There we are. Now, do you use this mic here? Is that your...? Yeah. Yes, okay. So I'm just going to ask you just quickly beforehand the song that you're about to sing for us. That's not the one that we're all going to sing, but this is the song you submitted. What's the story behind this song? Um, the story behind this song is basically based on my experiences with bullying and how you can get over that as well. Okay, well, thank you. We'll we'd love to hear the song. We're going to hear the song, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Abby to sing her own song. This is called Burn. You can now clap. <laughs> Red and burning orange in my eyes 
All you ever did was criticize You can make it, I believe in you Just spread your wings, baby, I'll help you get through When they realize it will hit harder than your hurt Cause no one, no one, no one can make you burn In your eyes when they play with firelight burning bright they won't fade if you sit side hands light you know you were right you can reach the top height you can beat it with all your might you can make it i believe in you just spread your wings baby i'll help you get through when they realize it will hit harder than your hurt Cause no one, no one, no one can make you burn You can make it, I believe in you, yeah Just spread your wings, baby, I'll help you get through When they realize it will hit harder than your hurt Cause no one, no one, no one can make you burn was fantastic that's your own song now i just want to ask you before you leave us you know uh, going from writing your own song to collaborating with people like katie noonan and the other writers what was that experience like for you i hadn't really co-written with anyone before so it was a really good experience and it was nice to be able to talk to with people who share the same passion as me so it was really nice and how does it feel to see a fantastic band like this and the choir and to know that there's more than half a million students around the country that are about to sing a song that you helped to write how does that make you feel really excited so crazy i can't believe it but it's really awesome that everyone can get together and all sing together that's great well let's give her another round of applause that's abby everybody <laughs> one of our songwriters now if you would think that you might have the the skill to write a song like the song that we're all singing this year or perhaps to co-write it remember the song is written by students and you have the opportunity to potentially take part in this the submissions I think are open in a week from now. Is that right, Maeve? One week from now. So go to the Music Count Us In website if you are a, a budding songwriter and all the information will be on the website with regard to how you can submit your material for consideration and then the various songwriters will be judged and uh, some of them will be chosen to get together to write the song for next year. So that's a very exciting opportunity that... Uh, you know, all students that are interested in songwriting should, should be looking into, and we'd say to teachers as well, if you have any uh, budding songwriters in your class, that's something really, it's a great opportunity to, uh, to look out for. All right. Now, I'd like to welcome to the stage a gentleman with whom I've been working quite a bit over the last month or so. We're about to head out on a big regional tour, and I'd like you to give him a huge round of applause because it's quite a long walk from there to here, so we have to keep the applause going until he gets here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Harrison Cray! I'll use this mic over here if that's right. How are you, Harrison? Are you very good? Thank you. John. Oh, that's How good. Are you? I'm all right. It's lovely to see you. I feel like I haven't seen you for about well a week or two now. I know it, it's just been too long. It's been too long. long. Now, before we sort of go into singing, oh, look, I, I'm just wondering. I know we're sort of you know it's all a bit impromptu. Would you mind singing a little bit of one of your songs today? Do we want Harrison to sing yeah, a song, sure, uh, boys and girls? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, so before we do that, I just want to ask you, I mean, obviously today is all about music in schools mm. and I know, you know, you've only just finished school fairly recently. Did you enjoy your music at school? Was that important for you? Yeah, look, I mean, throughout my whole um, school career, um, it's just been a huge part of my growing up and um, for me to have that there is like just such a big part of my life. It was just fantastic. Fantastic. So this whole program is just a terrific. Yeah, well, I know you're an inspiration to a lot of young people, a lot of young aspiring singers. So we thank you for being here today. Just going to check the keyboard's working. Um, 
Look, I'm thinking your tour is called More Than a Dream. Your album That's was it. called More Than a Dream. I happen to have the music for More Than a Dream in front of us. This is just turning out to be More Than a Dream, isn't it, John? <laughs> Sorry, I had to pull it out. I'm not one to run away Throw anything in front of me Lived a thousand lives in melodies They've overtaken me I'm not one to hide my face Oh, but you, my dear, my saving grace Through the storm, your harmonies Were my heartbeat And I, I never thought Never believed, never could see The walls were bigger than me But I tore them down I saw them down in front of me. It's more than a dream. I saw myself just sail away into the blue beyond the gray. Seeking better days Where you found me The walls of misty haze Block my sight, stop my gaze Pushing me away from you And I, I never thought Never believed, never could see the walls were bigger than me, but I tore them down, I tore them down. In front of me, it's more than, it's more than a dream. That was fantastic. Mr. John Foreman, everyone. Oh, thank Come you very much for that round, round of, of indifference. My applause level was about a quarter of the level of yours. That's embarrassing, isn't it? But that's okay. Just to pretend that I'm Harrison, and just let's do that applause again, right? Do you just, you know, yeah, let, let's hear it for okay, okay. me. One, two, Hooray. John thank you. Much better for my ego. Thank you. Now, another person I'd like to welcome is the, the lady who's organised all of this this year, Maeve Marsden. Let's give her a great big round of applause as well. Here's Maeve. Thank you, John. Now, look, it isn't Music Counters in without something a little unexpected happening. Ah. And we've got another school that wanted to join us, Diamond Valley SDS. We're going to come up onto the lawn and join in in time for the big sing. So we're going to bring them up while you have a chat about oh, some fantastic. of the other events. Okay. That they is just came and wanted to join they heard there was a big scene happening and they got keen so while they come up onto the stage do you want to tell us about some of the other events yes and I'll that's scoot, a great idea no no let's give her a round of applause <laughs> Maeve let's give Maeve a round of applause and what's the name of the school that's joining us now Diamond Valley, Diamond Valley SDS welcome to everybody from there now Harrison do you want to stay with us I mean we can do the countdown together maybe I'll move back to this microphone I think here that's a good idea yeah, I can okay. stay with you John uh, We can always share them. Yes, we'll sh oh, there we are. Look oh, at that. Oh, it's louder than the first one. <laughs> Gave me a fright. All right, so now before we go any further, I have to ask Maeve, how long do we have to go with the all-important countdown? Six minutes. Six. Six minutes. Okay, well, I was born at a very young age. Um, <laughs> now look, I won't go through my whole life story. You know, I think we should talk a little bit about what's happening around the country right now. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we're here with the wonderful Harrison Craig, Darren Percival, who was on The Voice the year before you. Yes. And he sang the song that everybody's been learning. He sang the recording of it. He's up in Surface Paradise. There's 100 students on the top of Q1, which is a very tall building. 250 students on the Surface Paradise foreshore below. So we say hello to all of them. Um, teachers have gotten together to organise an event in Geelong. Now, when are we in Geelong? Is that tomorrow night? Sometime this weekend, We're isn't it? Yes, we are. Um, very, very soon. Yes. 
And I actually know that uh, there are quite a few uh, friends uh, that were off the uh, voice as well that w uh, that w uh, will be saying uh, hey to us. There at the yeah, event. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, we'll look forward to that. So if you're in Geelong, actually, I'm, I've got an idea that I'm just going to do while we're, while we're counting down here. So Geelong. The, this is happening, and then Harrison's happening there sometime over the weekend, which will be great if you haven't got your tickets yet. Now is your chance. And while we're promoting things, the Special Olympic opening ceremony, everybody watching us in Newcastle or the Hunter Valley, it's 31 days to go to Special Olympics opening ceremony. That's going to be huge with everybody from Marina Pryor to Darren Percival, who we mentioned before, Human Nature as well. So if you're watching us in Newcastle, you've got to get your tickets for Special Olympics opening ceremony. Now... Um, yes, Geelong Performing Arts Centre. Uh, we've got... Uh, oh, Aidan Rolf, who's one of our songwriters, is there. In Darwin, there's 600 students and uh, a local singer-songwriter, Shelley Morris, in Darwin. Say hello to Darwin. In Sydney, 300 students in Hyde Park performing with the New South Wales Junior Singers. And, oh, singer-songwriter Nairi, of course, who was on Idol some years ago. She's a fantastic performer. There's a 60-piece ukulele ensemble, which is great from Fairvale High. Six young singers will be at Top Sydney Tower with Tim O'Matic for the countdown. That's a very high place to be, and I hope you don't have vertigo. That'll be <laughs> fun. In Perth, at the Perth Cultural Centre, 500 students uh, with Rachel Lim, one of our songwriters, the Police Commissioners Band, so be on your best behaviour so you don't get arrested, and the Filth, hosted by Adrian, so that's going to be great. I'm going to take an Instagram picture of all you guys here. Is that okay? I've, John Harris really likes uh, this app now. Harrison's <laughs> got me onto this Instagram. I didn't know about it before, Harrison, but he's, he's gotten me onto it, and I figure now, if I can take a photo of everybody here, and then you can, everybody wave. Here we go. One, two, three, smile. Here we go. Did that work? And then I'll, I'll upload it in a minute because I've sort of keep going with the countdown. But then you can all go on and uh, hash brown, hashtag, whatever hashtag, it is. Hashtag, yes. <laughs> hashtag yourself. Or you can, you can uh, hash brown if you want. I'm yes. Like, I, like, I don't know if it'll work, but, you know. Well, yeah, and the thing is, you see, Harrison's got 30 million viewers, uh, listeners, whatever you call it, followers. Uh, followers. Followers. And on ha uh, Harrison Craig 1, I'm John Foreman 1. I've got about 12 followers. So... Part of the reason for doing this is we so that you'll all... Up. That's right. Yeah. Get, get me on the thing. So I'll, I'll do a little music counter scene. Three minutes. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, everybody, let's stand up and get into position. Three minutes to go. Let's do it. This is so exciting. And let's do, let's do a little vocal warm-up. All right, everybody? Here we I go. Like on the count of three, we'll all do a ma, 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 ma. We want 600,000 people around the country to sing ma, 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 ma. Here we go. One, Ready? two... Three, ma 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 again, ma 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 again, ma 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 ma. This is wonderful. Ma 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 more, ma 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 ma. Maybe one more. Ma 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 ma. Oh, give yourselves a round of applause. That was fantastic. Okay. Now the other, okay, I'll keep going. Should I be doing this? Is this wrong of me to be uploading to Instagram while we're supposed to be doing a countdown? Maybe I'll do it straight after the countdown. I think, yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. Okay, that's good. Very good. Okay, so now what have we got about it? Two minutes, I'm imagining something like that. One minute. Oh, One gee, minute. that went quickly, didn't it? <laughs> that went so quickly. I can't believe it. Three minutes. Now it's, it's going to be New Year's Eve before we know it. 50 right. seconds. Okay, Come so on. we're all standing by. And to everybody watching us right around Australia, whether you're in a group of a thousand, whether it's one teacher and student standing together singing the song, uh, wherever you are, this is for all of us. This is a song for all of us to sing together to celebrate music in schools. We thank all of the teachers. We thank all of the students. We thank all of the songwriters for everything that you've done leading up to this moment. We thank the Music Council of Australia. We thank the band. We thank Harrison. Darren Percival and all the other artists who are with us and just give us a count just give us a sing out when we get to 15 seconds yes no not quite Maeve is about to give us the official word we'll go on Maeve's count and let's hope that her uh, phone is the right time here we go 10 9 8, eight 7 seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
and around Australia, give yourselves a round of applause. Hooray!